Well, welcome. Thank you, Your Excellency, Vice President of the Somali Region, um, State of the Federal Democracy Republic of Ethiopia. Uh, also, I'd like to um, thank the Honorable DG Kamara, um, as well as the Honorable DG Hershey from Somaliland, our Directors of Wildlife of both countries, our um, Regional Governors of Somaliland and members of um, the different regions throughout the country, both countries, both um, regions, as well as our development partners. A big thanks to Dr. Rega from GEF and UNDP for helping support this, as well as uh, dear friend Fatena from IW, um, IFA, and all of the distinguished guests who are here. Thank you all very much for coming together and for us to be talking about such an important point. I'd like um, to give a very special thanks to um, our Somali state here in Jijiga for hosting us at this event, especially to the Bureau of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change, and uh, Mr. Hassan, and your dedicated staff. Again, all protocols observed. As the founder and executive director of the Cheetah Conservation Fund, uh, our team for over 30 years has been working very hard to try to get the word out that the cheetah is one of the most endangered of all the species in the world and needs a lot of help. We've been dedicated to try to put science um, and conservation together to try to keep cheetahs living free and in the wild. Today is a very, very, very special day for me to see all of uh, my friends from uh, two countries that I work so closely with come together to talk so carefully and sincerely about the problems that we are facing. And that is the trade of cheetah cubs from the wild um, being confiscated and going into other parts of the world where they're leaving the, the wild, leaving their mothers. But with that, when they get confiscated, um, they have to be taken care of. And as you've heard from both of our DGs today, that the illegal wildlife trade of not only the cheetahs, but of the wildlife is something that is important to each and every one of us who are here, to our nations, and also to the world. But we have a huge responsibility. We are the caretakers of these animals from these regions, and we need to work together, spread awareness, to try to help stop this trade. Again, the cheetah is one of the most amazing animals in the world. It's the fastest of all the land animals, but it is leading the race towards extinction. And we can make a difference. We can change the course of time. We can allow wildlife on Earth for our, our people globally. We are the caretakers. Throughout this region, the Horn of Africa, due to some of the um, instabilities, we don't have a lot of knowledge about where cheetahs live, how they're living, why they're being caught, who's catching them, what's going on with the rural communities, what's happening. And we need to find out more about this in order to be able to put a point on our maps to be able to, again, change the course of time. We need to keep the wild cheetahs in the wild. Each year, over 30 cheetahs 300 cheetah cubs are taken from our landscapes. Many of them are being confiscated, thank you, to the um, government, Morat, from Somaliland, for stepping up and actually confiscating these animals. We stepped into the role um, several years ago to try to take care of these animals. And if you can just imagine right now, at our um, safe house in Somaliland, we have over 60 cheetahs that we are taking care of. Again, over 30 that have come in in just the last few months. So there's a lot that needs to be done along the borders and throughout um, the different regions, not only in Ethiopia, but in Somaliland, to try to stop this. We also need to get the word out to the Arab Peninsula that these animals are not theirs. They belong to the world and the wild, and they're being taken care of by the governments 
in whose land these animals live. These are your animals. You're caring for them for the world. Thank you for your care. We started working in the illegal wildlife trade back in around 2005 with two cubs that came in here in Ethiopia, Patch and Stitch. 2005 was a long time ago. Some of those animals had no place to go and eventually Born Free was able to build a facility here in Ethiopia. And then there was nothing. We worked a little bit in Djibouti with a facility there. And by developing a facility up in Somaliland, we've been able to try to help take care of the animals at least that have come in. These animals though need extreme care. We've got veterinarians, global international veterinarians that are experienced. Cheetahs are not an easy animal to take care of. Um, and after studying cheetahs for over 45 years and writing books and papers on anything you'd like to know about the cheetah, I can just tell you that taking care of cheetah cubs is very, very, very difficult. They come in from the trade, um, nutritionally challenged, they have bone deformities, they have diseases, they are starved to death. Half of them don't make it because of the horrible care that they're given. And once they get over into the Middle East, possibly, they don't live more than a year or two because the people do not know how to take care of them. If they die, they, they come right back into your backyards to try to take more. We need to stop this and we need to be a very loud regional voice to say no. So again, I want to thank you for all coming together. Again, this means a great deal to me to have all of you here to work together over the next day, to actually make plans together to get to know each other. Cross borders, I want you all to become best friends and come up with a plan so that we can stop this trade together. And it's only through our relationships together that this can happen. These cats are going to need long-term care if they come into captivity, if they live in the wild. We as the wildlife biologists working with our wildlife departments are going to make a wild place with the wildlife taking care of our livestock and the livestock management is very critical. We know that climate change is going to be a part of this. We have to look at our rangelands and then with that we also need to work with the humans and look at the livelihoods of the communities that are living on the land. I come from Namibia where I've been working for 30 years taking care of cheetahs, our communities, our livestock and our wildlife. We can do it. And with that, I want to um, just share with you that um, this meeting is going to be all about the problems and our first steps. And let's put our heads together today and find a way to break the cycle so that wild cheetah populations in the Horn may have a chance to be counted and survive for future generations. Thank you very, very much for putting this together. <laughs>